Well, hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Yes, we are here in Elm Creek, uh, heading back to our farm as we pull in here, and you know what? We are going to be extremely busy in the month of October. Uh, you might say, well, Sargon, well, what's up? Uh, well, well, we're just going to park things here. Let's let's have a look see. Uh first off, let's see. Oh, we've got milk to deliver. We sold our butter and cheese. Okay, so I think we're good there. Eggs, not quite yet. But let's hop into contracts. Uh I think we can be a little cheeky here. So first thing is, we will accept this $15,000 uh, fertilizing contract and we'll set a worker off on that. Why not? But here, this cotton contract is going to the spinnery. Who owns the spinnery? We own the spinnery. As well as this cotton contract. And I think that's the last one yet. So we are going to look at the equipment we have here. Ooh, a Mack truck. We don't have one of those. Uh, we have this. Is that the same equipment? Very similar equipment, $787 to borrow versus $1140. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's let's uh, borrow the one with the Mack truck, and then we will accept this contract here. Wowzers. Okay. And that's not including stuff we need to do in our farm, but I want to be a little cheeky today. Well, we needed to top up our fertilizer, and we also had to find it. Um, took me a few moments, and I tucked it right next to the house there. Uh, my bad. Uh, I don't know why I just couldn't see it. I couldn't even see it on the map. I was just, like, looking right over. It's probably, like, tucked right away in with the, uh, you know, with the house. So, but here, we're just going to come in here, and we are going to set this one off on a worker. She's got things well in hand, so let's get to uh, harvesting some cotton. As we rumble past here, uh, yeah, we should probably take our harvester back to our farm. That would probably be very appreciated. But okay, let's see what we need to do here. Yeah, so typical, we do need to unfold the harvester. Ooh, it's like a transformer. It's more than meets the eye. Wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, then... I think we need to lower something. Okay, uh, we've done that. Should be able to turn on the harvester. Oh, there's an automatic drop. Let's do that. And then we can turn it on. So we have at least two fields. I've taken on two contracts here. Oh, this is interesting steering. There we go. Just a cotton picking minute here to get all of everything done. I like. Now, this is something we do need to consider. We've got plenty of sheep uh, making lots of wool for us. But cotton is something that perhaps we should look at adding. Now this is a big, probably very, very expensive machine. So, you know, to make it worthwhile, we'd probably want to buy a field at least of this size. And maybe it's a field next to it, that one, or perhaps that one over there. Well, you know, it's something to think about. Uh, obviously right now we're, we're just gonna harvest the field. Oh, we gotta get the time back up. I slowed the time down uh, while I was hunting for the fertilizer. Yep, so I didn't want time to pass too, too fast. But now that we're back at the, the jobs here, getting our little contract here done. Makes me wonder, this is a, this is a slow burn. 6%. Okay, we will go along the headland here. Well, that's a cool animation. Seeing things going up and down on the side. Let's see if we can catch it. Caught my eye. 
before I mentioned it. Yeah, let's keep an eye on it. Okay, now, is this like uh, trying to watch a uh, kettle boil? Just going to take forever and not do it if I blink? There you go. I blinked. See it going down. That is neat. Be nice if we could see inside, but you can understand for safety reasons why this is a closed machine. This, actually, this doesn't look like it should take too, too long. I don't know how many uh, bales of cotton we're actually going to get. And, ooh, you know, I wonder. One of the things I don't know, hopefully, with this machine, I'll be able to expel any extra and claim it as our own. Now, the other thing I'm not too sure of, do we actually get the double benefit of, since it's going into our spinnery, can we, you know, you know, turn on the production for uh, the cotton wool? Or not the cotton wool, but you know, you know what I mean. But we're gonna get this done. Now, I think what we are going to do is once we get around the headland, we will turn this off on a worker. And I will tell you why. So, mentioned need to return the uh, harvester. But actually, we need to do more than that. October is going to go uh, flying by pretty quick here. And I should really make sure I get our sunflower field to harvest it. That would be a big F if we lost out on all our beautiful sunflowers to go to our oil mill production. Although, we can double check the harvest season. Well, you can see the uh, fertilizing contract more than half done. And we've barely made a dent into this. Maybe I should have. Hmm... I probably should have accepted or borrowed the equipment from the other contract. Make things go a wee bit faster. And since we have two fields to do, although there might be another. No, not another Jedi. Um, although there could always be one more Jedi. Uh, no, I think uh, I did drive past another cotton field. Now the question is, is it ready to be harvested? Because I was only looking at the big money stuff, and there was I saw these two, and then some soybeans. Okay. But what we are going to do, the very least, we'll get the harvester back to our farm. Come along here. Turn on the helper. Away you go. I did go looking in, and verified a few things. One, yes, there were at least two, if not three more uh, harvest cotton contracts. So no, I didn't just like drive around with this uh, machine. But I also didn't take back the harvester because we can wait uh, at least one more month. But I really want to take advantage of the cotton here. And what's better than one cotton harvester? Well, Cotton picking two harvesters. Does that work? I don't know. That's what we're going with. So we can see if we get these two to meet up. Get this transformed here. It's looking pretty nice though. Okay, what else we need to do is turn on the automatic drop. Need to lower the harvester. We just need to turn it on as soon as we get to the edge over here. You know, it's funny. It, it did actually feel like this is going to go pretty quick once they made the trip around the headland, but that helper. Uh, I guess I got two passes. I, I shouldn't throw too much shade. 
Because they, they, they're more efficient. Well, in some ways, they're more efficient than me. But I can generally make the turns faster. As you can see, he finally just got in a position over there. He's coming back around. I got my foot to the floor. So this won't take too long. So let's uh, just zip right uh, through this. Just uh, passing here, he uh, pooped out a cotton bale. Oh. But I think what we're going to do, uh, we're going to let the helper finish things off. We're going to head across to a uh, field right across from us. That's where we borrowed this machine. But we might as well pick up the little little bits that we missed. Because that that's our precious. Wow, that's okay. Uh oh, that's weird. The uh volume was ticking up, but I didn't see any white bits uh, of cotton on the field. So oh, Perhaps I've been a tad too cheeky, but, you know, it's only a few liters here and there, I'm sure. But we'll just drive right across, go past the fire station here, say hello to the boys and ladies here, uh, who might need to get us out of a jam. Okay, far better to approach it from this side. Now, as you can see, this field here is much, much smaller. Uh, are we on? I don't think we are. So this should not take as long. Yeah, definitely quick and easy. And I think it was a good call to uh, take on this contract and get a second cotton harvester. Now, I did apparently try to take credit for all the hard work of Doing more of the other contracted field than the helper, but, you know, proof's in the pudding. They, uh, they, they pooped out a cotton bale, and I have not as of yet. 
And they look to be the same machine, so I'm assuming same volume. So is what it is at this point. Now, the one thing I'm actually not sure of, now I do have my auto-loading trail, so we might have to pull out that because we've dropped the bales onto the field, and I don't think that Mack truck that we have actually has a lift. Try it. But if it doesn't work, we do have another means to... Uh, get these to the spinnery. Contract. Okay, I was about to say contract field 52. That's this field! Okay. Now, I do wonder how our helper is doing. I think what we will do... Say hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Uh, what we're going to do, besides try to avoid that tree... Uh, we will put, finish going around the headland here. And then we'll put this on a helper. And then we'll take the other harvester up to field number 10. And you know what? Uh, I, I, th you know, we still might have to harvest the sunflowers in November. Perfect fields over there, which, yeah, it looked kind of depressing now. Yeah, no Instagrammers. Um, you can see, already done 20%. This, this is going lickety split. So, yes, I think given the amount of time left in October, we can at least get it started. So let's put this guy on a helper. Away you go. You know, just potentially illegally rumbling down the highway here, but, you know, Who's really going to say anything, right? Right? Well, rolling up here. Field number 10. We'll just uh, hop through here. We'll start going around the headland. While we have the other helper on field 52. Now, this is definitely a big field where we'll need both harvesters. Like, wowzers. Um, I think the field we just completed is the larger of the, I guess, technically three fields. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to take a moment. Uh, it's, it'll take even more moments if I don't get all the blades covering the field. But, yeah, we'll jot around here. We'll double check, but well, we'll finish the headland tour here and we'll see how long uh, it's going to take the helper to finish fill 52. Hopefully they're not stuck. Not that we could tell from here. Somebody could call him. Phone a friend. But that's fine. So let's just uh, continue along with this. And see if we can get things uh, wrapped up here and over to the spinnery. Got a little ahead of myself there. I was uh, looking to turn on the helper, uh, and I did, but uh, it's not what I actually meant to do, because we're gonna set the helper on over here, set them on the long one, as we go take care of the other harvester. Well, this is a pretty good timing, kinda, sorta. We are going to have to... Ooh, can we be a little cheeky? Oh, I think we'll make it through most of it. Okay. 
So what we're going to do, we will back up. Grab that, because that is, that, that's our precious. Precious. Get in the harvester. Thank you. Get ourselves lined back up here. And we might be losing a little bit of the harvest. But I think we're okay. Like I said, I think there's a little issue with the graphics. At least that's what I was experiencing on the first field. Because I was collecting little bits and bobs of cotton. Even though there was no white cotton showing in the game. Okay, so we will let that strangle by. We'll come back for it. But we're in a good position. I, I'm really happy. Um, you know, a little too cheap on the uh, first two. Where I decided to... Only borrow uh, equipment from one contract. So, definitely tip. Uh, if you are going to do more than two contracted fields... Or, sorry, more than one. So, two or more fields of cotton. Uh, unless you really want to spend a lot of time doing it. Just borrow the equipment uh, from at least two of the contracts. Well, that was a bit of a drive, but we've got Field 52 done. We are going to come here and set the worker off. We'll have them uh, start on... Ooh, okay, go, go, go. No, you stop, sir. Okay. Woo. Okay, we're going to come here. They will take the shorter end of the field. Just come in through here. Hopefully they don't have too much of a problem. Okay, you, okay. All right, yeah, ready. Okay, you wanna follow, fine. I guess that makes sense. Hopefully you turn left. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna have to fix that. Okay, I just got a warning saying that uh, the weather, uh, it's raining, it's gonna reduce the yield. Ooh, okay. Well, um, it is what it is, and this might put off our sunflower harvesting if we look all afternoon. Rain, 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 right into the evening. Oh, okay. So not that we were going to do that today at this point, but... Well, we got to get this work done. Uh, hopefully this doesn't... I'm not actually sure. If you do know whether on a contracted field such as this where we're harvesting do we lose uh yield i hope not now speaking of yields which way are you going to turn please go left please don't get confused okay you're going left perfect well we have forty thousand liters of cotton and yet you notice well i had to pick up our Auto loading trailer here, which actually it only auto loaded one of the bales. I had to pick up the other. But uh, as much as I want to use the Mack truck, uh, I think there's probably something I should have done to unload uh, the cotton into the trailer. And maybe we'll do that for the uh, final two bales. We can give that a whirl. And I don't think, well, it's a large field. We might get another 40,000 liters. Not like this is all ours, or is it? We're, we're about to find out. It, is this cheeky play uh, gonna work in our favor? Well, let's see. Just need to unload the bales. My guess is these will take a moment to disappear. Yep, boom, there we go. Whoop, there they go. Okay, so let's have a look. Are they here? No. No, sir. Well, you know, that's... That's fair, I guess. Still, it would have been nice. Let's have a little quick look here. I uh, kind of pushed them through all three of the uh, contracts, not completing one at all. Well, let's see if we can make this uh, big, beautiful uh, truck work. Uh, we borrowed it. 
so we might as well see if it, uh, you know, is something that we can actually get to work. Okay, this is cool. Uh, this actually will grab the bale. Ah! And uh, put it in. Now, the unfortunate thing is, this looks like it can only hold two bales. But we'll find out. Okay, let's see if we can make uh, this work. Back that right up. This should go right in. There we go. Yeah, it can only hold two, unfortunately. Now, I think the other thing we're going to do is going to take this one off the field or move it out of the way. I would like to see if we can just get one other full bail, I guess. You know what? Uh, hmm. Well, let's get this, uh, this load over to the uh, spinnery, and we'll make our next move in a moment. Well, one more deliver here. Uh, oh, and we are doing a uh, great job jackknifing this trailer. Let's see if we can just back this guy up. There we go. Now, how do we unload this? Probably the same way as everything else? Yes, there we go. We can drop these off. Now, the question is for the extra, do we... Oh, 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 got to pull forward. Not the best of designs. Okay, field 10 is done. Field 31 is 75% done. So what that tells me, uh, if we hit the right key. What? Well, that's weird. That's very, very weird. I thought it said this field was done, but it's 91%. Ooh, this is really, really strange. Well, that's the last of it on field 10. We do have a full bale in the uh, trailer, which is a good thing. So what we do need to do uh, is really get out of the rain. Yes, we need to get out of the rain. We need to get things wrapped up here. So I think what we're going to do is we will come. And I will say, uh, moving the harvester around, a lot easier than compared to uh, this trailer. So let's get that in transport position. Let's hop out and see. Hopefully we're at the right distance. Push that out. Yes, yes, there we go. Whoa, okay, that's getting dangerous. Perfect. Well, let's get this uh, to the spinnery and wrap up the contracts. I do have a feeling that the uh, rain did reduce our, our yield. But we'll find out here. <laughs> the goal is we do need to complete these contracts. We have no choice but to do so. Just push these back. And the rest should go into our spinnery. So you know what? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. That should be going down. It is not. Let's just move it around a bit. Hello? Fail? There we go. There we go. Let's hop over here. So we should have. Yes, we have a bit of cotton. So you know what? This probably did work out for us. So we'll activate that. Uh, the next thing is uh, we do need to come up here and we can collect on all of our contracts. So good, some good money. As you can see here, that's the potential profit. But we come here. This is what we're going to collect. 15,000, 10,000, 7,000, and 1,600. So obviously the big 15,000 was from the fertilizing contract and all our equipment is now gone. Thankfully we left ourselves a tractor to get back to the farm. So, but I think with that, let's uh, wrap things up here and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.